delicious sayas. Today, let's dissect the crab. This is the crab we will observe today. Crabs are arthropods with segmented bodies and jointed limbs. They belong to the decapoda group, which has 10 legs. Decapods include shrimp, lobsters, and crabs. However, crabs have a distinct appearance compared to shrimp and lobsters. The reason is that crabs have a body folded in half. The bodies of decapods are divided into the cephalothrax and abdomen. This carapace part is the cephalothrax, while the abdomen is folded underneath. So, if we open the abdomen, it unfolds like this. The end part of the abdomen is the anus. The digestive tract extends from the mouth to the anus. So when you press this area, feces come out. Therefore, crabs usually excrete waste near their faces. <clears throat> now, let's observe the body structure of the crab. First, if we look above the cephalothrax, there's a hard rostrum. And next to it, there are eyes. Crabs have eyes attached to the ends of eye stalks, and they have compound eyes similar to insects. So, if we magnify the eyes under a microscope, we can see that they are composed of numerous armadidia. The eye stalk of the crab has muscles, allowing the eyes to quickly retract into the carapace. And, crabs have five pairs of legs. The first pair of legs is the pincer, which is used for hunting or threatening. The remaining four pairs are walking legs, while some crab species have the fifth pair modified into swimming legs. If you look at the mouth area, you can see several moving appendages. There are multiple pairs of maxillips, which are used to manipulate food. And the mouth is located inside. On the upper part, there are also two pairs of antenna. Crustaceans use antenna for various sensory functions. Indeed, when we observe the shape of the abdomen, we can distinguish between male and female. Male crabs have a narrower abdomen compared to females. The reason is that females carry eggs inside their abdominal flap. Crabs engage in a close embrace during mating. The male's abdomen has two pairs of appendages, which are used to transfer sperm to the female's abdomen. Inside the female's abdomen, there are more appendages compared to males. Females use these appendages to carry and hatch their eggs. Fascinating, isn't it? Now, let's dissect the crab. Make a small incision on the carapace, carefully cutting, and separate the inner membrane. These are the internal organs of the crab. Firstly, what you see in the middle is the heart. The crab's heart functions like this. And the organs on either side of the heart are the gills. If you look above the gills, there are appendages that work like windshield wipers to remove impurities from the gills. There is also one beneath the gills. Moreover, the inside of the crab's carapace is filled with strange organs. If you look closely, there are structures with a slight greenish tint, and others with a white coloration. The ones with a greenish tint are called the hepatopancreas, which is a digestive gland in arthropods. The hepatopancreas is positioned in this way within the carapace. What about the white structures? Those are the crab's gonads. Gonads are located near the hepatopancreas. In certain Asian cuisines, the hepatopancreas and gonads are considered delicacies. This part is the crab's intestines. And this is the crab's stomach. If you cut open the stomach, you can see that it continues into the abdomen, extending down to the anus. If you look inside here, you can observe that it goes down into the abdomen. Additionally, there are strange organs inside the stomach. The crab's stomach contains teeth, called gastric mills, which grind up the food that enters the stomach. After removing the stomach, you can see the esophageal opening. This opening confirms its connection to the mouth. Finally, the crab's nervous system is transparent and difficult to observe, but the brain is located above the esophagus. The nerves spread from the middle of the body to the legs, controlling the crab's movements.
Crab dissection ends here. Sebastian doesn't seem to enjoy seafood. So, I gave him some chicken breast. And I enjoyed the crab myself. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.